Do you play a musical instrument? Fancy playing a lyre? A lyre is a stringed instrument, like a small U-shaped harp, with strings fixed to a crossbar. However, the lyre was made in the Central African culture in a completely different way. In fact, it was made using a human skull. The grizzly lyre was made by removing the top of the cranium and covering the rest of the skull with skin. Then, strands of hair were sewn to the edges of the skin. A pair of antelope horns were attached to the back of the skull, and then a wooden stick was mounted atop the horns, near their ends. Lastly, an antelope's gut would be tied to the string and pulled through the eye sockets, forming the instrument's strings. Today, the skull lyre is part of New York Metropolitan Museum of Art's collection of musical instruments. Fancy eating a human skull? An online chocolate confectioner by the name of Black Chocolate Co. are offering anatomically accurate life-sized chocolate skulls, which are hand-cast from a mould taken from a genuine human skull. They are created using the finest Belgian chocolate, and are also available in milk chocolate, chili chocolate, and dark chocolate. They are then finished with a dusting of fine chocolate powder. The candy skulls remain edible for six months and cost £68, or roughly $86. Quite a trick-or-treat gift, I'd say. Bon appetit. The backstory of this skull is very disturbing because it comes from a 13-year-old Texas girl who was murdered 150 years ago. However, what was created from the human skull is actually very unique. Self-taught artist Wayne Martin Belger came up with an unusual proposition of turning the 13-year-old human skull into a fully functioning pinhole camera. To make his camera, Belger drilled a pinhole into her forehead and surrounded the opening with jewels in green, amber, and maroon, before cutting the skull in half near where the ears would be, and slipping the 4x5-inch film into this slot. I've mentioned playing music from human skulls, I've even mentioned eating human skulls, but what about wearing a human skull? Eight masks made from human skulls were found at a temple in Tenochtitlan, Mexico, over three decades ago. Back in the time of the Aztecs, masks were worn by the social elite and were decorative headpieces. Archaeologists and anthropologists believe that they were made from the skulls of slain warriors and other elite members of Aztec society. These were done via human sacrifice, which involved beheading, extraction of the heart, throwing people into fires, and fights of the death. According to Mexican archaeologists, members of a pre-Aztec civilization used human bones such as thigh bones, shin bones, and human skulls to make buttons, combs, needles, spatulas, and dozens of other everyday utensils. The bodies of the dead had to be of adults in their prime, and they had to be relatively fresh in order to sculpt well. The discovery comes from a new analysis of 5,000 bone fragments found in the ancient city of Teotihuacan, a large archaeological site about 30 miles northeast of Mexico City. Is it just me, or do you find it humorous that they made tools out of human bones. Okay, I get it, that joke was bone dry. I'm so sorry, the scriptwriters made me do this, this is not my fault. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, then please be sure to hit that like button, and maybe even share the video too. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, as well as what you'd like to see next. And, why not subscribe to the channel if you haven't already? Lastly, to those of you who are in the notification squad, we salute you.